Today's the day that I will finally attempt making my first cable knit jumper. I'm really excited to learn a new skill, but equally I'm really trying to just put it off <laughs> because it's gonna be hard and it's just that thing of not being immediately good at something but i think a good way to go around this is to just buy the yarn and then i have the yarn i'm gonna just have to crack on with it i usually like going to hobbycraft or somewhere local to me because if i run out of yarn i'm able to just quickly go out and get it whereas if i order stuff online i'm limited to that yarn so if i run out i'm gonna have to wait for a new delivery and pay for more shipping costs so that's my way of thinking i know that a hobbycraft won't have have the kind of yarn that I want. I'm gonna go to my local like market store and they have lots of different types of yarn. Um, so I'm just gonna see if they have something I like. The yarn that I chose is this acrylic and wool blend and I've worked with this before a few weeks ago for a vest and I really really enjoyed working with it. It's really soft but it's still kind of chunky and has a bit of fraying which I quite like. I was hoping that I could find maybe a dark blue royal blue colour but they didn't have any so this green really stood out. I am taking a little bit of a risk because I don't actually wear a lot of green or have a lot of green in my wardrobe and I recently did a big wardrobe clear out and sold a bunch of stuff on Vinted. I basically got rid of all my green clothing because I don't wear it enough so maybe Maybe this was a bad decision, but it's so beautiful. The colour is literally gorgeous. I did look through a few different patterns that I could maybe use. I've really been loving the Drops website recently. For some reason, I've not really utilised all their free resources, which is just crazy the amount of patterns they have on there. And they had a few nice cable jumpers. I was looking for a very specific pattern based on this jumper that I'm like obsessed with. I love how chunky it is. I love how chunky the cables are. And I actually have a very similar jumper to that from H&M and I really love the fit of that. So I think that's why I'm really drawn to that jumper in particular. I found this vintage pattern and it seemed like the cables were pretty similar to that jumper. I've obviously never done cables before ever. So I didn't really know how that was gonna work. And I actually already made a start on this or I kind of tried out the pattern so I knew what I was doing. And this is how it came out. It is surprisingly easy to do cables. I don't have a cable needle thing, but I just put my cables on a normal needle and it works just fine. The only thing that I noticed was that the cables shrink the piece a lot. So this isn't really big enough for me. The cables turned out quite small. I don't love how much space there is in between the cables. So I feel like at this point I have kind of figured out how the cables work and I feel like I can just apply my own measurements. I think in theory I should be able to just make the cables bigger by making the cable stitches wider so having more cable stitches and less of the reverse stockinette stitches here and i'm just going to cast on more stitches these are i believe 91 stitches i think i'm gonna go up quite a lot i would rather have this be too big which for me it can never be too big then it turn up too small and i end up not wearing it i also wanted to do the italian cast on but i have never done it in a two by two ribbing effect so i gave that a go it's a lot more tedious but it's working and it does look quite nice and i do really love how like stretchy it is so it is worth it so i guess i'm just gonna do that for my official front piece. I've kind of left this on the yarn for now, just so I can compare it. But I will obviously later on unfrog this when I'm, you know, needing this yarn to work with. I'm gonna, I think, cast on 109 stitches and then my cable width is gonna be 18 stitches. The in between those cables is gonna be six stitches. And then I'm gonna do nine stitches on the edges. Maybe I'll make a little graphic uh, here so you can kind of visualize what I'm going for. And then I'm gonna just follow the pattern for decreases as and when it calls for the neckline and stuff. I'm working the main body in a size seven mil needle, but as I'm casting on the ribbing now, I'm gonna go down to, a five and a half just so it's more 
evened out. Okay, here we have my ribbing and it's looking really long, but I do think that is how I want it to fit. Like even if we look at this jumper here, look how far down the seam comes. So I think that is right. And I am trying to keep in mind that this will probably shrink once I do the cables. I think I need to knit a few more rows until I can actually start the cable because I've gone wider. I also need to go longer than what the pattern calls for. So it's more of a square cable rather than like a squished one. The amount of times I forget to change my needle after casting on the ribbing and then I just do the main body in the smallest needle. This honestly happens every single time I work on a project. I'm gonna have to unravel the first few rows that I've done and do it with my bigger needle. The thing that's been getting me through all of my knitting and crocheting projects at the moment is audiobooks. I'm so glad I'm getting back into reading. This year alone I've now read four books which is I'm pretty sure more than what I read in 2023 and it really just is that I'm knitting and crocheting so much and if I then throw on an audiobook I finish a book within just a few days. I've read Dolly Alderton's Good Material and Ghosts. I much preferred Ghosts I have to say and then I moved on to Julia Fox's Down the Drain which I absolutely loved. I really really enjoyed that book. It was the perfect book to listen to and have on in the background. It kind of left me a bit empty. I didn't really know what to read after that but then I read I'm Glad My Mum Died because I thought it would be sort of in a similar vein of like a celebrity autobiography. I, it was also really good. It did really sort of hit that spot but now I'm kind of ready to move back to fiction. So I've just started The Secret History which is like recommended in every single book talk that I come across. It's I think 22 hours long so it's gonna keep me going for quite a while. I'm a bit limited because I'm just listening to whatever audiobooks are available on the Libby app um, obviously within my local council and they don't always have have the ones that I want to listen to. I really wish that Spotify had more listening hours available because they have such good books on there and the quality of the audiobooks is amazing. I can definitely tell the difference moving from Spotify to the Libby app because the audio quality on the Libby app just isn't as good and it is really throwing me off a little bit. It makes me feel a lot more productive. So otherwise I was just watching YouTube or TV, which I still do every now and again, but it's not able to keep me occupied eight hours a day. ready to do my first cable. This is where I'm at. If I now do the cable, it will kind of overlap quite nicely. I'm worried that this is too wide because I struggled with my testing swatch thing and it felt quite tight. So I think when I do my cables, because there's so much that needs to be overlapped, I'm gonna just make sure like to not pull it too tight. So like I said, I don't have a cable needle, so I'm just gonna pick up my stitches with this. Obviously that means that it's quite easy for the stitches to fall off, but I am quite happy to just pick up any fallen off stitches. I'm not really like too worried about that. I'm gonna pick up one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I just leave it like that, hanging. Oh, it does feel quite thick. Like I'm gonna have to connect it now. I'm just gonna make sure to not pull anything too tight. The cable is looking so good. I love how chunky it is. This is exactly what I wanted and I can really envision it. But this is what I mean with it shrinking. It's already gotten so much smaller. The sides are curling in a little bit. So I'm hoping once it's attached to the back panel, it will sort of go a bit bigger. And maybe also with a bit of a block and a steam process, the cables will kind of loosen up a bit. But overall, I'm quite happy with this. I was really worried that it would 
just not look good. I think I'm just going to continue this pattern until I sort of have a length that I'm happy with. Minus maybe two, three inches just so I can then cast off a certain amount of stitches here and kind of decrease for a neckline. I honestly think I'm just going to freehand it from now on. The cable knit pattern I'm getting quite used to and actually then the rest of it is just like making a normal jumper and I can just freehand that. I don't really need to follow the pattern. It's probably going to take me some time to get to a good length. This is where I'm at now that the front and back panel are done. I've attached them on the like shoulders there. It's looking nice and chunky. I've already kind of started casting on the arm here. So I'm going to go out to a cafe and do some knitting. I thought it would make sense for me to sort of try it on and cast on before. I'm at the cafe because it's always awkward when you're trying to figure out measurements <laughs> in a public space. I'm actually really happy with this sort of neckline. It's really wide, which is what I want. I know it's going to kind of shrink together once I cast on the ribbing for here anyways, but I am kind of going for a neckline that already starts more on my chest and then goes up. I'm hoping hoping this will be chunky enough. I did also now see like a TikTok or something of someone blocking their cable projects and they did say that everything stretches out a lot more because the cables hold so much tension. For the arms, what I'm doing is I think I'm just going to knit in like a reverse stockinette. So I'm basically going to knit everything but I'm going to be knitting inside out. So once I've cast this on, I'm going to join in the round. But I'm actually going to knit on the inside, if that makes sense. So the um, outside of my arm is just going to be this like middle bit continued. And I'm going to just do a pretty wide sleeve. I'm not going to decrease anything, I don't think. I want it to be really oversized and chunky and yeah, like wide. So that then when I add the ribbing for the arms, that is what holds everything together. This has honestly been so, so, so much fun. And I already am thinking about like the next table net project that I can be casting on. We've made progress. The arms are attached, the sides are attached. It's looking like a wearable piece. I'm so chuffed with this. The arms were so boring. I was just going round and round, um, but they are looking quite cute. I'm really happy with them. And now I just need to do the neckline. It doesn't sit that great without the sort of turtleneck at the moment, but I have run out of yarn. This is the only yarn that I have left. So I could cast this on and make a start on the neckline, but I don't really want to change the yarn sort of halfway through. I'm just gonna buy one more skein of yarn and then finish off the neckline. They were all sold out. Of course, they were all sold out. I got some more yarn. I had to order this online, which is so annoying. The yarn was completely sold out at the market stall. So got one more skein of yarn so I can actually now do the neckline for this. When I ordered this, I just had to order some more yarn so I can hit the £30 minimum for free shipping. So I ordered a bunch of extra yarn. All of this blue acrylic and wool blend yarn which i have no idea what i'm going to be making with but i have a lot of it so i'm sure this can turn into another jumper or cardigan but yeah i just had to do it i ordered these of wool box i can leave a link below to both of these yarns they have some really nice stuff on there but yeah i can't wait to just finish this i feel like this will be such a good jumper to be able to wear before it gets super hot outside it's a super miserable fizzly rainy day out there so i can't wait to just get cozy and comfy on the sofa and finish this up actually finished it here we go I ended up making a huge turtleneck last night I got to maybe like here and cast off but I felt it wasn't high enough so I added on a few more rows today I'm honestly so excited to actually block this because I think the cables hold so much tension in them and it goes in like this whereas I want it to sit like that more like a sort of boxy fit so I think I just need to block it and steam it 
for this whole section to fall as I want it to because you can see also the ribbing down here is all scrunched up. I'm definitely glad I did as high of a turtleneck as I did because it just looks so cool and I really like when a sort of turtleneck um, or neckline extends down. I think that's quite cool as well but yeah I'm gonna block it and steam it and then do a proper try on. I might then even wear it to work tomorrow if the weather allows. the next day and I'm off to work. I'm working from the office today so I thought I'd just wear the jumper. It honestly turned out so 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 well. Obviously I blocked it last night and then I also steamed it afterwards and it honestly made such a big difference. It's so much softer and falls so much better. It's a lot longer now and a lot more flowy down here. It definitely has a bit more of a boxy oversized fit. The arms turned out <laughs> a little bit too long like when I hold them like that i don't like how much this folds over so i think when i'm back home tonight i'm gonna unravel the arms and take off maybe 10 rows from just this normal like reverse stockinette and then redo the ribbing but until then just for today i'm just kind of folding over the cuffs and i like actually how thick the cuffs are now it's making me think that maybe when i unravel my ribbing that i'll do double the amount of ribbing like the length and then i'll just double fold it because i do think it gives a bit more hold around the arms and then i'm just wearing some oversized jeans red gazelles i've just got like a stripy shirt underneath because it's actually going to be kind of warm today and it's always really really hot in the office so i pretty much will only be wearing this on my way to work it's definitely in line with kind of what i wanted to do this year of making more basics and things that i can actually get quite a lot of wear out of this is definitely one of those things so hopefully i will have time to make more of this kind of basic and definitely more cables. I really really enjoyed that whole process. Before I finish the video I was kind of thinking about sort of ways we can celebrate the 10,000 subscribers which I'm still so over the moon with and I'm planning to do like a little bit of a Q&A whilst I'm working on my next project which I think is going to be like a crochet cottony summer cardigan. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer them please do drop them in the comments below. I'm obviously not going to answer them when you leave them i'll save them for that video that's coming up but yeah any questions you might have i'm gonna try and answer them in that video but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this whole process of watching me learn something new trying something new like i said i'm absolutely obsessed with this so yeah couldn't be happier thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye